Okay, Peter, I see what you're looking for here. And uh, let's move me up there. Um, whoa, I'm flying all over the place. Um, all right, so what you're looking for basically is just you want some headers stuck in here between these different sections. So let me show you what I got you here is uh, so we got the header there. Um, got a header above here. This header, I just uh, made it. Um, I made it centered. This header down here, I floated this header to the left and did an underline just to show you uh, different things you can do there. I also put 30 pixels of margin right here at the top to push these apart. You wouldn't have to do that, but you can. And then I also showed how to do some margin in here in case you want a little room between that headline and the top of the section. Up here, I didn't do any of that at all. So let me just show you the code real quick. And all you do is underneath <coughs> underneath where you put in your nav menu like this, you just want to come in and just drop in your standard headline element. And like I said, in this case here, I have it set to bold. I have it centered. No underline, no italics, no nothing. But you, of course, could move that to the left if you wanted to. And then let's just go into it. And again, you can change the font, the colors, all that kind of stuff, the font size. And here I have no margin because it was the very top one. I didn't think it really needed a margin. You can certainly put a margin on there if you wanted to and push it down some and do anything else you wanted to inside of the advanced everything here. So that's number one. Number two, exactly the same thing. But like I said, I floated it to the left, underlined it. And that's about it. So now what we need to do, oh, and let me see here. Did I, yeah, so I just set up four quick sections here just to show you how this works, but you already had that set up on yours. And so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, grab a hold of this text element and then put it up here above section number three. And so you grab, all you do is you got the text elements down here is where you build them. And then you tell the code, grab a hold of that and just stick it up there, insert it before section number three, insert it before section number one. That's all that the code does. So for getting into your tracking code, you're going to come in here for your settings. You're going to go to tracking code. You're going to click on footer tracking code and you're going to want to put in your script tags. The first one turns the script on. The second one has this little slash right there to turn the script back off. And then you just come in and you grab a hold of the CSS ID selector for the headline elements. So if you don't know how to do that, we'll come in here. We'll click on this. We'll click on the gear. Either one of those gears, the orange gear, or the blue gear is fine. Come down here. Hashtag grab that CSS ID selector for this text element. And then we're going to go back into our code. And so here's that CSS ID selector for the first text element. Here it is for the second text element. And then we just say here, insert before. So period, insert before. And then this right here. So this right here tells it to insert it before the first section. So we come in here and we inspect this. We can right click here, inspect on the element, and we'll come up and we'll see that this very first section here, you can see it's highlighted as I hover over it. And down here is, do do right here is the third section. So it gets highlighted as we mouse over it. And we just come in here and right there it says data target equals period section one. So we copy that and we put it in here. And obviously there's special formatting that you have to have to make sure you get this right. If you get one character out of place, this will not work. It has to be code always has to be 100% absolutely perfect. So here we got data target equals section one. And then down below it, we have data target section three because we're putting, putting one above section one and one above section three. That's it for the... JavaScript code for the styling, the CSS. I just wanted to say here for section three, I wanted to give it a little bit of room here. You could do it also for section one or for any of these. If you want a little bit of room there, that's why I put this in there. Um, so I just said data target three, just like right up here, we got data target section three. And I just said margin top of 20 pixels. 
and enclosed it inside of these style tags. You could also take just this part here and put it into the custom CSS. But generally speaking, when I'm writing code, if I have something that is specifically targeting something that I also already have in the JavaScript, I will normally put it in here between the style tags like that. And I just realized I don't have my closing uh, bracket there. So that is it for the code. I will send you this video and the code and that's it.